execute swift attacks with sword and bow to vanquish the maelstrom. This was the description when choosing the samurai specialty kit, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. A samurai can also perform a flying kick, temporarily increase their team's maximum armor, and grant additional protection for the team when they lose all their armor. Though I like the more traditional nature of the knight, the samurai was my go-to kit, as it just felt more versatile with its skill set, not only offensively, but defensively as well, particularly with its 4-piece set bonus. This model is built in what I like to call Ultra Fig Scale. It's like those brick-built minifigures LEGO's made, except mine are a bit bigger and have a full range of articulation. Since I've made two Ultra Figs in the past, this time I just had to worry about Samurai-specific features, like the helmet. I must say, though, that I spent way too much time tweaking the leg detail, and while currently Borderline's cluttered, it definitely gets the job done. Taking a look at the weapons, I was able to make the sword blade with transparent light blue pieces, while the bow is just dark azure. Posing with the bow looks quite nice, despite the fact the arrow itself was a complete afterthought. Now unfortunately I didn't make his valiant weapon, the Samurizer, but that's something I could always come back to someday. Well that about wraps things up, but before you go, perhaps you'd consider taking a look at my LEGO Ideas project. Samus Aran's helmet from Metroid. It currently has 265 votes out of 10,000, with 385 days left. Alrighty then, take care now.